360 overhead press every day. As I said in yesterday's video, chilling the air already, even though we're only in mid-October. Eight reps with the 40 kilo kettlebell, my bottoms up press PR. And I'm chasing for the 10 by 40 kilo set. In my mind, I might have to purchase the 48 just as soon as I hit 10 plus reps on this. So I don't really want to buy a 48 already owning a pair of 40s, which looking back, I wouldn't have bought two 40s. I would have mismatched it some. I would have got the 40 and a 44 or the 40 and a 48. But that's hindsight 2020. And as far as getting a 48, I can stack bells on top of this 40. In my eyes, I'd much rather have a heavier two-hand swing bell, like a 60 or a 64, whatever that size they come in next is. Because it's in kilos, and none of us Americans think in kilos, the 130, 130-ish kettlebell for two-hand swing. I'd like to have that more so than a 48. See how many reps I get. Seven today. Those were more dialed in than normal. I thought I was going to hit 10 on that set. Guess that's for another day. And I'll be back in a minute. Got a five minute timer on my old cell phone about to start. I'm going to do alternate clean and presses for that time. More so than an exercise period, I'm going to use this as a talk. Already, I'm cheating by having these gloves on. It's not chalk, but it's kind of grippy. That's those little plastic dots on it. But it's like 40 out, and I'm apparently warm weather adapted from the summer. My hands are cold, so I'm okay with wearing this. Had an interesting back and forth on threads earlier. The guy's viewpoint was, you want optimal, and I'm pretty outspoken on my viewpoint. Optimal doesn't matter. In fact, outside of the world's strongest man competitions, if you're not at that level, life ain't going to be optimal to allow you to have optimal strength training. I think many people focus on the wrong thing when it comes to what's optimal in their training, what perfect circumstances are. I know for me, it's felt like every life circumstance possible could get in the way of training. Training effectively, training efficiently. Training efficiently, not effectively. 
training effectively can always be done. You don't need much to have an effective workout. That catchphrase of mine, referred to push-ups. It's not optimal. It's not the most efficient thing, but it's pretty effective for me to just do a lot of push-ups. And, you know, maybe my experience is like that because genetically I seem to be built for more strength endurance than power or strength. I probably would have been best in track and field as an 800 meter runner, maybe a 400 meter dash. But I had interest in the throws. I like shot put particularly. So I ate heavy, force fed a lot, and developed myself in a way that looks more like my mom's side than my dad's side. Both sides of my family are tall people. I joke that at six foot, I'm the runt of the family when it comes to height, and it mostly holds. The men on both sides tend to be taller than me, though there aren't any real giants. My cousin at 6'3 is probably as tall as it gets for blood relatives that aren't like further removed than cousin. For me personally, if I was looking for optimal, I'd have probably quit by now. And it's a perception thing. I feel that I've always had a lot in the way on my strength training journey, on my sports journey before that. But none of that matters. That's, that's the point I wanna get across. That you don't need optimal. You don't need efficient. You just need to be doing something that moves you towards your goals in training. A little five minute timer's done. I'm not done talking. That was fairly laid back. One good set of bottoms up press, then however many alternating clean and press singles that was. It's not an optimal workout, not by a long shot. I like to be using chalk on my hands and be on a nice level gym mat floor instead of being outside this being roughly rush hour and luckily no, not too much vehicles driving by it's a journey that's what I can say it's a journey you're never going to have optimal so don't look for optimal, don't look for perfection. Just look what you have access to. What you have access to, what you can do right here in the now, that mantra of with what you have, where you are right now. Because the human body is an amazing organism. The mind thinks it needs optimal and perfection. The body just needs stimulus. Men were getting strong for far more of human history than they have been since gyms started becoming popular in Arnold's era. Swinging a sledgehammer for 60 hours a week. It's not an optimal path to human function. In America, we have both John Henry and Paul Bunyan in our folklore. I don't take them as tall tales. I take them as aspirational examples. It might be folklore, but 
there's a pretty strong case that a French Canadian lumberjack said to be about 6'3", 240, is who Paul Bunyan was based on, and that Paul Bunyan is an Anglicization of a French Canadian name. And John Henry was said to be a real man, a convict made to labor for the railroads. Most of human history, people did it without, from the modern perspective. You're a human. The physiology is still the same for you as it was for someone swinging a sledgehammer post-Civil War 150 years ago. My message, just do what you can with what you have where you are. The more important part is to train than to train optimally. I don't think optimal matters. Just like I said in this little thread, Optimal is not worth considering unless you're already at the world's strongest man stage. And if you watch those Brian Shaw videos, those Eddie Hall videos, you'll see them talk about how dirty the food was before they had the wins, before they had the money. And now that they can do it more optimal, they do now that they have the means. Do your work, love your work, and have a blast training, you guys. One more rep each side. And if I didn't do this squat, probably wouldn't do any squats. I just genuinely like doing the last rep with the front squat to end clean and press workouts. <sighs> Gives me a nice little pause squat too. <sighs> See you guys tomorrow.